Hello, and welcome to Are You Smart? Spell It! Who the hell are you guys? So, <laughs> besides that point, Blake, would you like to explain to them why they can see oh. us in video today? and why we have this microphone here today, mm -hmm. and what we are doing, and why our set is decorated. Mm -hmm. What happened to the I Have People Skills shirt? So, it's right here, that's what happened to it. <laughs> here it is, right here, I Have People Skills, but it's not, we don't want that anymore. Okay, so what we did today was something every single human being on this planet needs to do. All seven billion people. We went and saw the two hour and 40 minute movie, Avengers Infinity Wars, and it was 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yes. As I said, everyone needs to go see that. Even if you have never seen a Marvel movie in your life, this one will get you invested. Yeah. This one will catch you. And if Marvel movies, like, they make a little bit more sense if you watch them all. But even if you missed a few, like, I haven't seen Black Panther yet. Mm -hmm. But the, this movie still made sense. Wakanda forever. Yeah. Freeze? Doctor Freeze? Doctor Strange. I know Doctor Freeze. Stephen Strange. Okay. So, uh, the other thing is because we saw Infinity War, mm -hmm. we are bringing Are You Smart Spell It to you through video today. Mm -hmm. So you can see us. We have Blake over on Friday. Yeah. I'm uh, here, boys. We're also writing an episode of Kevin for Mayor tonight. Mm -hmm. And then because this is also a podcast... For those of you podcast users that are listening to this on SoundCloud or iTunes, that's we have a microphone in front of us. You guys can't see this because you're not watching the video. But if you want to watch the video, you can click off the podcast right now and go to um, YouTube.com, search up Wade and Blake TV, and you'll find the video there. Uh, so that's why we have the microphone in front of us here. Is the this is recording mm -hmm. for the podcast users. Um, the set is decorated, Avengers themed, which is well, cool. Captain America themed because we don't have any other or couldn't find any yeah. other Avengers stuff. So well, we got the Doctor Strange poster. Yeah. I'm making your book on the fire. But you know. has Doctor Strange really been accepted yet? Like Tony Stark no. is kind of skeptical of the Wizard, yeah, as, the as wizard he refers as to he him. Refers to him in the movie. <laughs> but before we get into a ton of spoilers. <laughs> We're going to do the spoiler-free section. So the way I like to watch movie reviews and I like to do movie reviews is I do a quick spoiler-free section just telling you, hey, should you go see the movie or should you not see the movie? Then after that, we get into all the juicy spoilers oh, yes. of the movie and we talk yes. about the plot, take it apart, and rip it to shreds so we understand it. Uh, which Thanos did to some people in this movie. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah. I'd say it's a little worse than that, but... Yeah. He did it to some things, too, not just people. Oh. Um, but, so, before, let's go into the spoiler, non-spoiler section here, sorry. No spoilers, so what's gonna happen is, I'll just put it on the bottom of the screen. I'll probably put, like, a big flashing red spoiler thing, once we get into the spoiler section. So, non-spoiler section, first of all, what would we rate the movie on a scale of 1 to 100? I don't know. I am not a very good critic. If I got a job as a critic, I would be fired. Because <laughs> almost every movie I see in theaters, in new theaters, I think it's amazing. Like, literally, when I saw Black Panther, I was like, oh my god, that movie was so cool. But now that I think about it, I'd probably rate Black Panther like 7.5 up to an 8. So like an 80 out of 75 or an 80 out of 100. Well, yeah, like, yeah. yeah out of, 8 out of 10, 80 out of 100, but like, then I saw Ready Player One, and I was like, oh, this is really cool, because I've always loved that concept of virtual reality and immersing yourself into that, so I'm like, oh my god, this is like a 100%, and I still think that, but eventually, like, later on, I'll be like, was it really that good, or, or I, I don't know, but... As of right now, when just seeing Avengers Infinity Wars today, it's like, oh, it's a 10, it's a 10, baby, but I don't know, I, I am kind of disappointed how they made it into one movie instead of making it two separates, because yeah, it they, feels 
rushed. Even though it was like intimidating, two hours, 40 minutes, three hour movie, it felt really rushed. I really thought that they should have labeled Avengers 3 and 4 as a two part movie mm -hmm. because the movie ended on a the world's massivest cliffhanger. <laughs> and it's uh, how is that not a two part movie? It's It felt like the first part of a two part yeah. series. But with all of that, like. I can't go any lower than like an 8.5 and yeah. just because of how I'd have to rate it like a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Yeah. It was really good. Um, I've I've been known to be pretty harsh on rating movies. I gave uh, in the Are You Smart or the the first episode of the Friday News Show before it was rebranded Are You Smart Spell It. Um, I gave uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi a <laughs> 4 out of Ooh. 10. Uh, I would have gone lower. Actually, maybe I give it a three out of ten. <laughs> I, it was something. It was definitely below four, uh, four or lower. But um, this movie, I really enjoyed myself. It was a three-hour movie, and I was kind of worried that it was going to be <laughs> slow at points. It was going to be long, but like honestly, I I told Blake the first time I checked my watch, it was already five o'clock, <laughs> and we saw a three twenty-five show, so we were already two hours through the yeah. movie, pretty much. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. It was really enjoyable, even if you're not really a superhero movie fan. Mm -hmm. It's really enjoyable. You kind of get invested in a lot of the characters. And well, see, sorry to pay you off, like, yeah. that's the thing that made it so much better than all the other ones. It was like all the worlds converging. Yeah. Doctor Strange, Guardian, Spider-Man. And, and it was like a new version of everyone. Like... Thor was more rebellious and, like, outgoing and comedic. And Captain America was a little less serious. And Iron Man was kind of mentoring Spider-Man. And everyone had a different dynamic. And everyone was playing a different character. And, and it felt so new and so awesome. And it's like, it was like the rebirth of yeah, New Avengers. They, 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 they definitely have almost, like, kind of rebuilt the entire series since Age of Ultron. Mm -hmm. Which... People consider, like, people are like, how are all these Avengers movies doing good? There's got to be a low, low, low point in the movies. And that's what I would say the low point is. Age of Ultron <laughs> is probably the low point. Because we broke Josh Whedon with that movie. That was a... It, it was a slow movie, and it wasn't the best Avengers film. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to have to give this film probably a 9.5 or a 10 out of 10. Like, 100%. <laughs> Because it was just so enjoyable and so good. And you could tell it's a really good film when it ends on a massive cliffhanger and it makes you, like, seriously angry <laughs> that you have to wait. That's how you can tell. But, it's but like, it makes you angry in a good way. It's like you're angry at the film producers of how yeah. good of a cliffhanger they made. Yeah. But then you're like, now I have to wait a year for the next movie? Yeah. And just, you, like, die inside. Yeah. And you can always you can tell it's a good film when like well, like when we were watching it whenever a big character came out the entire oh, theater up yeah there, like we had an like amazing like it, just the atmosphere you got off from all the people in the theater it was amazing we had an amazing crowd yeah literally and then like, at the end of the movie when it ended on the cliffhanger people like sighed and yelled people were like yeah no <laughs> <laughs> yeah our crowd our audience well not our audience but. The, the specific the, audience that we... Yeah, we, yeah. we were with. The audience we were in that was viewing the movie, it was, like, really good. And even, like, the after credit scene, like, there was one thing that me and Blake didn't, like, catch. Like, we didn't know exactly mm -hmm. what it was. And we asked the guy beside us, and he's like, oh, that's that. Mm -hmm. And that's what it means. So, definitely go and see the movie. It's worth the money oh. that you're gonna spend. Yes. Like, um, like we said, like, we went with four different people. Yeah. Came out to 42 bucks because... Wade, Mr. Coupon Man over yeah. here, and we, with four of us, 42 bucks, split it, $12 each. It's like opening, opening day. Yeah, like, bucks, I think each. that's cheaper than a regular ticket. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> Only like 15. Yeah. yeah. So we, we got a good deal. We, we got, got a Canada, really good deal. Way, that's Canadian rupees. <laughs> Canadian rupees. Yeah, that's what yeah. we call our money. If it's if it's <laughs> we got the monopoly money, we got the rainbow <laughs> colored money. Uh, yeah, so if you live in the United States, it's probably gonna be cheaper than up here, but that's just how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, um, I so. mean that's even a better reason for you to go see it. It's cheaper yeah. in the United cheaper States. Cheaper in the United States. <laughs> yeah, just go see it. It's a really good movie. It's hundred percent worse. You're gonna enjoy it, and the the time just flies by. Oh, yeah. That's why I I can't give it a ten. Like. It was too rushed. I want more. Yeah. I need more. <laughs> and now, as Wade said, a year. So, 
Like, we're gonna have to do another one of these Are You Smart Spell videos next time it comes out. Oh. We might even have oh. to do a live stream next time it comes out. Mm. Because that, that would be yeah. really, really good. Okay, so that's the end of the spoiler-free part. Now we're moving in to full-on, full-blown spoilers. <laughs> Maybe some coarse language. <laughs> uh, because I was angry. <laughs> there was swearing shed. So... <laughs> <laughs> Before we move into the full spoiler part, check out these clips. Okay, guys, so yep. we are here with Blake from WBTV. Yep. We are here with Keith from WBTV. And we are here with our other friend, Eric. And, and this is Wade. And we are at the theater now to see Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. In yep. Ultra AVX 3D. <laughs> theories going on here my theory is uh everyone dies a lot of people are gonna die in this hulk i hope he stays alive you know big green one I, I think i think he's gonna die oh yeah this is keith who came from here too tony uh, stank tony stank's, tony stank's, stank's gonna, gonna die thanos got some scratches oh yeah look look at this how we know he already has the two infinity stones yeah. yeah he already has the two apparently that's been confirmed by mark well, where's the well, guy i mean with it's the... confirmed right here yeah. What happened to the guy with the, the whistle? Like, like, thing. Did he die? Yondu. Hmm? Yeah, Yondu died Yondu in the died, second yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, which yep. kind of sucks. Okay, so we're we're ready to see this movie. Mm -hmm. Let's get hyped. Oh, that's a goal for Blake. Now it's two one. Timeout. Wade's getting raged at the game. Game over. Guys, WBTV here. Okay, you guys. Got double glasses, you know. Yeah. It's already popping. Guys, we are in the theater. The movie is gonna start in like less than an hour. I'm so hyped. Playing HQ, you know. Yeah, playing HQ. I'm so hyped. Blake, hurry up. Blake, come on. HQ. Okay, guys, I'm so hyped for this movie. I'll be back after I got play HQ. Thanks for coming early. Okay, Blake. We're in the theater now. Blake is just turning off his HQ. Yeah, sorry. One second, guys. Um, but um, I'll just talk for a second here while we wait for Blake to turn off his HQ. I'm so hyped for this movie. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm sure you're probably seeing this at the beginning of the Friday news show. You've probably seen our experience through the day. We went. We were talking at the poster. Then we played some air hockey, and now we're mm -hmm. now we're here. Now we are, we're here with her. Real 3D. Yeah, real, real. I got my glasses right here. Right here. We're in Ultra, Ultra. Oh my God, that's oh, trippy. Ultra AVX. Ultra yeah, AVX. Ultra AVX, guys. Look, look, look at look at this theater. Like, you see these lights, and, and you guys see this screen here. Like, uh, this is some high quality stuff. This is this is high quality stuff. This is high quality stuff. And we are ready for this movie. So we are. We're so ready. Um, the next time you guys will see us, we will be sitting on the couch. Actually, no. You guys, I'll, I think I'll do another video like this after the movie. We'll do another video like this after the movie. Yeah, how shocked yeah. we are. How shocked we are. How much, how, how good the end of credit scene was. Yeah. Or if it was an, another shitty Captain America train on soldier. Patience. Yeah. Patience. Well, one of our friends actually just watched the movie at 10 o'clock. We're, we're a 325 show. And he said that the movie was absolutely awesome. And then also tonight, uh, me and Blake are co-writing the second episode of Kevin from Air. Kevin from Air. So it's going to be really good. So uh, thank you guys uh, for following this journey. And we are hoping to see the review very soon. Okay, guys. So the movie just ended. Oh my god. Okay, that ending is not satisfying. I want to like die now. <laughs> Keith, what would you think of the ending? Uh, bullshit, man. <laughs> that was so... Oh my god, that pissed me off. Literally, it started happening. I whispered to Blake, I go, I swear to god, if the movie ends right now, I'm going to kill myself. And then the movie ended. It's Thanos in limbo as he just walks up to a cliff, sits down, and, 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 black screen. Testicle 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm done with this. Literally, I was so hyped. I waited so long. I'm not gonna wait another year. Maybe even two years. Yeah, it's supposed to come out in 2019. Uh, I can't believe it. Screw you, Marvel. Look at all these people that worked on this movie. Screw you too. I'm done. I'm done. No, no. Okay, so as you can see, we were done. At that <laughs> point, we were so... Uh, I was like so angry just as soon as it ended because it was such a... Now we gotta we gotta wait a testicle year. Testicle chin over testicle. here. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> testicle chin. Oh my goodness! Like I was that was a perfect reaction. Yeah. I'm so happy we recorded that. Yeah, got it. Got Keith's <laughs> reaction there. <laughs> As you can see, more than just us in the theater, we're using some very choice <laughs> on our opinions of the ending of the movie. Um, we were not happy. I was not happy at that point. I can't remember um, what Keith said. I'll, I'll put it in right here. Yeah, that's what he said. I can't. Like, <laughs> what, what the hell was? What the hell did he say? I think he said. What did he say? You you could have just pressed play. Right there. Fucking uh, bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Keith said. Uh huh. Uh, um. Yeah, so it was it was quite the cliffhanger, but we can we can actually talk about it now. Okay, so people freaking disappeared like holy shit. Yeah, everybody disappeared. The ending, like people just started fading, and I look over at Wade and I'm like, wait, wait, who's what still the, left? Who's I'm still like, left? What the hell is going on? So yeah, we Blake, we took this down. And I'm like, Blake Wade, open up your notes. Yeah, so as soon as we finished filming that recording of our reaction at the end of the movie. I opened up my notes and we took down who was left. So out of I don't know how many characters, the, oh. only, the only people that are left are Captain America, Black Widow, Rocket, Tony Stark, Nebula, War Machine, we think, but it could be Falcon, Hulk, Thor, the Wakanda Lady, the Gorilla Tribe Leader, and Thanos. Yeah, and we're talking about like the... the Lady with like the rings on her neck. Yeah. She has like the red. And for the gorilla rings. tribe leader, the one that lives in like the icy mountain from Black Panther. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just so confused why those specific characters. Yeah. Like I heard somebody in the theater say, which they did make a point, was that it was all the original Avengers. Mm -hmm. But then that doesn't make any sense why McFury disappeared. Yeah, Nick Fury, end of credit scene, he disappears. Yeah. And and one thing I'm disappointed with, like, where was Hawkeye? Where was yeah, Ant-Man? Where was Ant-Man? They were never in the movie. Are they in part two? Th then again, they weren't on the poster either, but, like, where were they? You could have helped, you could have helped the Avengers, you know? Um, uh, yeah, Quicksilver saved your life for a reason, yeah, Hawkeye. Yeah, come on, Hawkeye. Stop <laughs> caring about your children. Join the Avengers. Uh, so, I guess we'll just start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, the movie started really fast-paced. Oh. Our friend had actually saw the movie at 11, just before we saw it at 325, and he comes, and he told us, he's like, the movie... Oh, the movie starts off really slow. He's like, the movie starts slow AF. Oh. No. The movie literally started with Thanos walking over dead bodies after he, like, killed... Yeah, after he all the decimated Asgardians. all yeah. of the Asgardians. And their ship was, like, decimated, too. Well, yeah, like, that's the whole population of Asgard. Gone. Yeah, gone. Thor and, then, and, and, Thor and maybe literally, Loki. Literally, Thanos killed Loki. Yeah, he chokes Loki to death. Yeah. Um, Picks him up and... And I was shocked because I thought Loki was on the Black Order or the Dark Order. I thought Loki was in the Dark Order I that was, movie. like, so I shocked. thought Loki was going to betray them again, but no, no. Loki, Loki stayed loyal in yeah, this movie. And, but, you know, who knows if he's still alive. I mean, he's the god of tricks. Yeah. I really don't think but, he's dead. I think we'll be seeing Loki back. But, I mean, he did kind of die, and then the ship blew up. I mean, the ship was sent to flames. I mean, yeah. how did Thor get off the ship? Yeah. Thor was in those flames. Thor survived. Yeah, so then the from that, we go to the 
pops on the screen. Ba na 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 na. New York stuff. And then uh, we end up being in New York. I I really like the New York scenes. I yeah. wanted more of the New York. Like I think that's to come in the other movies. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of the one battle tribe almost. So this there was kind of two separate battles going on yeah. in the entire movie. So this tribe was kind of like Tony Stank or Tony Stark, <laughs> Iron Man, uh, Spider Man. Spider -Man. Doctor Strange, Strange and his his, his assistant, helper yeah. dude. Sorry, I forget his name. Um, who else was part? And then the Guardians were with them for a bit. Well, that was later on, though. Yeah, that was later on. So that's okay. They kind of start the Thanos is, wants to get the time stone mm -hmm. because I like once he gets the time stone, he can. Kinda, I mean, once he gets the time stone, he can do whatever the hell he wants. Exactly. I so think that's one of the more powerful ones. Yeah, so uh, they get attacked by this weird orb spaceship thing. Yeah. Ned, we this, got to see massive Ned. massive ring. Yeah. We got to see Ned. We got I a little Ned. bit of Ned there. Yeah, and he just stands up and goes, We're all going to die! Yeah, it's a distraction and, for yeah. Spider-Man to get Spider away. And gets out of the, gets out of the bus. <laughs> We're all going to die! die. <laughs> this causes uh. pain. And then Stanley... Stanley was oh, in the movie yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, that's Stanley's cameo as he the was, bus driver. He was driving the bus, and he goes, Haven't you kids ever seen a spaceship before? <laughs> uh. um, <laughs> so then after that, um, there was... Uh, oh, and then there was a thing before that. Tony Stark wants to have children, but his wife wants him to, like, stop being an Avenger, kind of. Yeah, in order to because have he, like, installed... The special thing into his chest. He's like, oh, that's just storage. Installing, like, his arc reactor as his, like, heart again. Yeah. Almost. When so then he can click it, and then he gets his Iron Man suit. Yeah. And it comes out of that. Um, that's what the one thing I'm always kind of interested about is, like, how his Iron Man suit kind of, like, folds out now. Mm -hmm. But before, he always used to have to, like, call for it. And then the parts flew in. And, like, attached to him. Yeah. I don't know how it works. I mean, you kind of just accept it, man. Yeah. It's <laughs> Avengers. It's Marvel. You're like, you know what? Suit sure. comes out of his chest. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Like, Spider-Man has this little ring on his hand. Touches it. His suit comes out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so there was that. Uh, then Spider-Man and they all kind of fight. I don't know. It was like the Hulk. The Hulk kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Um... And, Bruce uh, Banner? From, no, the oh, Hulk oh, no, from, the yeah. black, from the Dark Order. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Before the intro, Hulk fell down from yeah. the ship. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Thor's landed. best friend, the guy that I thought the Soul Stone was going to be in yeah. with the orange eyes, he got killed. teleports Hulk down to Earth in this stream, and then he gets killed Yeah, in front of Thor's eyes as well. So Thor losing almost everything... He had yeah. right there at the opening scene. As the opening, opening scene, scene, that's what you get. Oh, it's slow AF. Yeah. Bullshit. Come on. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, uh, and we should get rid of the Star Wars stuff over here. They, they can't see that. They can't see that. We don't have any Star Wars stuff. I yeah, don't there's know no Star Wars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, I mean, Disney makes both of them, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't mind some Star Wars. Stuff. Sponsorship. I don't know. No, that, that looks really bad right now. It looks good in my eyes. I need it in my peripheral vision. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, back to the video. So, um, you know, for those of you who don't know, we have an uh, ATT walker over here. Mm -hmm. But that's in Monday's video, because Monday's video is a yeah. of the of around here. Um, but anyways, uh, so Hulk is the one that tells Doctor Stephen Strange. Well, about not Hulk, Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner, because that's another occurring event in this movie. Yeah. Bruce Banner, yet again, is having battles with Hulk when he tries yeah. to turn into Hulk. Hulk's like, no, <laughs> no, Bruce Banner, no. Yeah, Bruce Banner is like, Hulk, come out, and then his face turns to Hulk, and Hulk's like, no, and he's like, God damn it. But that, that was another really cool thing. I liked how he was in the Hulkbuster scene. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really Bruce funny. Banner got to use the Hulkbuster. 
Yeah, and then he was fighting the Hulk guy from the yeah. Hulk, and he was like, and this he worked and before. Oh my goodness! Because <laughs> he lost to the Hulkbuster before. Yeah, uh, that that was when uh, Bruce Banner first saw Black Widow, like for the first time. Mm -hmm. I just leaned over to Blake and I was like, the "Sun's getting real low," because <laughs> that was the <laughs> dumbest thing. I was when that happened in Age of Ultron. I was just like, what with, is with going Black Widow's on? lullaby, the sun's getting real low. The sun's getting real low. You know, <laughs> so weird, so like weird. It's just odd. It's odd. <sighs> um, so the the one scene that I thought was really like emotional for a Marvel movie mm -hmm. was when Thanos kills Gamora. Mm-hmm. When he, so, uh, in order for Thanos to get the Soul Stone, he has to trade something, somebody that he loves, and we got to get more into the insight of Gamora's mm -hmm. background. Apparently, her planet was like impoverished, so Thanos came and killed half the planet, mm -hmm. so then they wouldn't be impoverished anymore. But he took Gamora, um, and made her his well, daughter. Yeah, his daughter. He's like, kind of you're kid. my daughter. And then she's just like, okay. Um, but then she kind of like banished him later. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, so she takes, she takes, he takes her and since he loves to, her. To Vormir. Yeah. Where the soul stone and is. And since he loves her. And you meet like some Red yeah, Skull or Grim Reaper Red type Skull character. Red Skull from the first Captain yeah. America movie. He somehow... In I don't know space. how he's still alive. He's, he's, he's got an infinity stone now, yeah, so... He's just like, I don't know how he's still alive. But it, yeah, it looked a ton like Red Skull mm -hmm. from the first Captain America movie. Um, so I don't know if he's coming back. Maybe he will. Because I know there is a comic book where Captain America switches personalities with Red Skull or something like that. That's before he becomes... He goes back to being Captain America. That's the other thing. I thought they would explain that, but they never really explained, like, Captain America is not Captain America yeah. anymore. He is, like, done with serving his country because he kind of rebelled against his country mm -hmm. in Civil War. Because they kind of turned on him. They yeah. were like, we don't like the Avengers. Like, you guys are criminals now. Yeah, so now he's just Captain. Yeah. And they've, in the comics, they hire a new Captain America. They do? Uh, yeah. But, oh. then, and, but then the new Captain America gives the suit back to him later and he mm -hmm. becomes Captain America again. I don't know, it's kinda of confusing, but that's uh that's, so that, that's why that's he kinda had like universe. Yeah, that, that's why he kinda had a beard and his suit was black instead of blue. Yeah. And he wasn't wearing these these masks. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe we should just do this. No. <laughs> Um, the one thing that got me the most upset, though, was, like, Doctor Strange. Like, yeah, like Doctor Tony's, Strange... I honestly thought Tony Stark was gonna die in that scene. Yeah. I was like, this is it. Tony Stark's dead. Doctor Strange had so much potential to do so much more. He could have Dormammu'd Thanos. Yeah, Dormammu, that's, that's, that's what I thought I've come to bargain. I thought he was Dormammu, gonna Dormammu. I've come to bargain. Yeah, he never rewinded time. He never like, used the eye of Agamotto. Even the one time where they, like, almost had the glove mm -hmm. off of Thanos, and then Chris Pratt punched him and screwed everything up, Ugh. he he should have just rewinded time, mm -hmm. and then Chris Pratt wouldn't have punched him, and they would have got the glove. Or, yeah, he could have rewound time, and he could have, like, frozen Chris Pratt in time. Yeah. Or Star-Lord in time. I don't understand why. I don't know. They had to make it difficult. Yes. There's a lot of points where you're like, they're almost winning, and then Marvel was just like, screw you, and Thanos just was like, ah, and kill everybody. Like, they were like so close to winning, and then they just messed up one thing, and then Thanos, being the overpowered god that he is for most of the movie, <laughs> just caused mass destruction and almost killed everybody. Well, see, that was certain things. They made the Black Order seem so powerful, but then... They got rid of them so easily when all the Avengers came together. Like yeah, like they all died mm -hmm. in the Wakanda battle. Well, no. First, there was Iron Man, Spider Man. Oh, that was another really good yeah, scene. <laughs> I I just loved like 
I remember watching a video where Tom Holland is like, oh yeah, they Spider-Man they kept on space. Yeah, they kept on giving me fake scripts. So I thought that was a fake script because I was reading it and it said Spider Man in space. And then they told me that it was an yeah. actual <laughs> script. And he like five seconds later doesn't even remember he said Spider Man yeah. in space and the and Jimmy Kimmel's like so Spider Man's in Spider-Man. space. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, Huh? What? what? I didn't say that. <laughs> so, when I saw the giant ring show up and they kidnap Doctor Strange and all you see is Spider-Man web-slinging yeah. his way in, oh, that was Spider-Man. I turned away. Spider-Man, Spider-Man in space. space. Spider-Man yeah. in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that that was a that was another like everybody in the audience was like all sad. Everybody was like, "No!" when uh, Spider-Man Mm-hmm. was standing there and he was like Tony I don't feel very good yeah and, and then, then Spider-Man d- disappeared evaporates yeah. deteriorates everybody in the audience was like no <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man's the best yeah everybody. everyone just loves Tom Holland yeah, Tom Holland's like great. Tom Holland is finally like they finally got it right yeah. perfect Spider-Man third time's a charm I, th- I think we said that in another one of our videos I think we said that in last week's video yeah I think we said <laughs> it whatever everyone loves Tom Holland you, you guys understand yeah um, like, I really loved Benedict Cumberbatch's and Spider-Man or Tom Holland's, like, chemistry. Yeah. Like, like the whole dynamic totally with Stark everyone keeps was on so calling cool. him the wizard. Keeps yeah, him the wizard. yeah. Dude, that was funny. He's like, kid, get the wizard. And when, and when you finally felt that Doctor Strange, like, was like, you know what? These guys aren't that bad. They are trying to help the same cause. And he gave up. The, the time Infinity yeah. Stone but for, some, for Tony Stark's life. Something makes me wonder, because he looked ahead at all the scenarios. Mm-hmm. So something makes me wonder if he knew oh, yeah. that if he kept the Time Stone, more people would die than if he gave it up. Mm-hmm. That's that's something that makes me think. Because mm-hmm. he looked ahead. Yeah, he, he, like, he imagined, and he's like, there were 14 million 601... 605. 605 different scenarios. And only one of them we win. Yeah. So. Keith leaned over and he's like, they win zero. And I was like, they yeah, they <laughs> win one. They win zero. <laughs> that would be so, like, depressing oh if they won zero. Um, but, I mean, they, they obviously won more than zero. Um, yeah, like, honestly. Oh, and then the after credit scene. So, when. Uh, I'm sorry, this is kind of out of order, this whole review, but that's okay. Oh, who cares? Uh, when uh, Nick Fury is holding that, like, pager thing in his hand, mm-hmm. and he clicks the button, and then it goes sending, and then he disappears, and it says sending and sending, and then the logo shows up. I did not know what that logo was. At first, I was like, Wonder Woman! But then I was like, wrong universe. <laughs> um, and then we leaned over to the guy beside us, who I'm assuming was a pretty big comic book. Fan. Oh yeah, he, seemed, yeah. He, he was killing himself laughing during during the credits, and he goes, "They killed off a carrier that a, a character that brought like millions of dollars into the box <laughs> office because like Black Panther brought in like his film is like the highest grossing Marvel film." Yeah. But I mean, it's probably gonna be beat up by Infinity War. Oh. Uh, but like yeah. at, right now, it's the highest grossing Marvel film, and he's just like they killed off, <laughs> they killed off Black Panther. But anyways, so we leaned over to him, and he said it was Captain Marvel mm-hmm. is who he dialed. And then we were looking up timelines, and next March, March March eighth, ninth, ninth. I think it's March eighth. Wait, March eighth. Mm, Captain right. Captain Marvel, <laughs> March eighth. So that's like. And by the way, Avengers Infinity War Part Two, or whatever the hell they're calling it, May Avengers 3rd. Four is May third, twenty nineteen, yes. so it's next year. Yeah. So it's like a year from three days from now. No, six days from now. <sighs> a year from six days from now. So we gotta w- wait. Three hundred and seventy-one days. Yes. Start counting. Start, Start counting. putting it on your calendar. Down, yeah, three hundred and seventy-one days <sighs> until the next Infinity. Um, but yeah, so... But Captain Marvel, she's being introduced to the MCU, yeah. whoever she is. And she's probably gonna pretty much save everybody. Oh, yeah. She's gonna moment. come in here and she's gonna, like, just destroy. She's gonna, yeah. like, show, show off. Oh, I guess, everyone. I guess you were saying earlier that Tony Stark was alone on the planet, but like, Nebula is still on the planet. Oh, Nebula's still on the planet, that's yeah. right. 
But those are the only people that are left. Yeah, so, like how we said, there's two different things. Like, like everyone on Earth, yeah, they're on Earth. They can find people on Earth. They can go to Avengers headquarters, get a spaceship. I don't know. They can do tons of things. But Tony Stark and Nebula are stranded on Titan. Yeah, but is, is the Guardians of the Galaxy ship still on Titan, or is it gone? I mean... I think it's still there, but then again, Thanos blew up a planet and started sending asteroids down. Yeah. So I don't know if it's yeah, still it there might be destroyed. or it could be destroyed. I don't know. So yeah, I don't. I don't really. And Tony know. Stark was near death state there. Yeah, like he was stabbed. So stabbed. Um. So let's get into something that's gonna be a really heavy conversation. Why the freak? Sensor, did um, they disappear? Yeah. Why did everybody like evaporate or disappear or whatever the hell happened? Why? Mm -hmm. Like, what? Like, uh, my original thought was, oh, Thanos is going back in time mm -hmm. and one by one killing them all. But no, you himself. saw him. He was stuck in limbo. Yeah, you saw so him. He was just kind of sitting there. So that can't be it. And then we, I remembered, and Blake remembered, the Infinity Gauntlet is, like, absolutely destroyed. Mm -hmm. And when when he goes, what'd you do? And then, uh, that's what, uh, that's what, uh, that Thor says. Thor goes, what'd you do? And then he said, you should have stabbed me in the chest. No, or, he said, you should have gone for the head. Yeah, because he had stabbed him in the chest. Which makes me think that Thanos is kind of dead. Well, yeah, he's, like, stuck in limbo. Maybe, like, last second... He, like, screwed up with time to try and, like, keep himself alive, but doing so, like, destroyed half of the universe or whatever. Yeah, like, almost, I think, like, the suit is, like, broken. Or you mean his glove? His glove is broken, and it's, like, causing stuff to be erased mm -hmm. from time. Like, well, yeah, yeah that's all that of the Infinity scene, Stones there's unstable. A, there was that whole scene of him walking with... Gamora mm. afterwards and then I can't remember what he said he had a Gamora I was, I was just in shock yeah at that point <laughs> um yeah but it that it had to it had a few like emotional scenes like really mm. emotional scenes for Avengers uh which is normally pretty light hearted which it still was mm. lots of comedy and stuff that they really got going <laughs> uh in, in that in that film that's really good but the comedy didn't like make the movie bad or like it didn't like it didn't what, ruin what, it. what's the, I, I'm looking for a specific word like it didn't like mm. like mm. it didn't f make you forget or like do better or like uptake it didn't over it didn't like it didn't overtake the action and like the insanity yeah. of the movie it like, wasn't like too much comedy yeah it was, it was a good amount. Yeah, like it was really... It was to, good. like, relieve the stress and, like, you're like, oh, my God, what's going on? They yeah. have a funny joke and everyone, like, relax a little bit. So no one, no there, one there wasn't was freaked jar out. Jar. There wasn't a jar jar <laughs> running around. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Imagine if they just introduced jar jar. That would be... That would be a bad... This movie had so much potential to be a bad movie. No, but they executed but it they so But they executed well. it amazing. I can't remember the name of the director. It's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> uh, what are they? There, there's two of them. And their last name starts with an R. I can't remember. I'm going to have to look it up now. <laughs> like, you keep them distra distracted while I look it up. But yeah, like, we were trying to think, like, what's going on with these evaporating people? What's going on with them disappearing? Because as we said, like, it's all of the original Avengers, but, like, because we got Tony Stark, we got Steve Rogers, so Iron Man, Captain America, Bruce Banner, the Hulk, we have Thor. Oh, here we go, complete list of who dies in Avengers of Infinity War. Who it's, lives it's, and dies. It's the Russo brothers. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can find them. Uh, who died in Avengers Infinity War? Loki died. Loki died. Heimdall, which is the guy with the orange eyes. Yeah. Gamora. Gamora. Uh, Vision. Vision. Here's 
who disintegrated. Disintegrated. So Black Panther, T'Challa, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Winter Soldier, Bucky, Burns, and Falcon. Falcon. See, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch Guardian. All, the, all of the Guardians. No, not all of the Guardians. All the Guardians. Rocket, except for Rocket. Mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy. The remaining Guardians: Star Lord, Groot, Drax, and Mantis all perish. And the curling Howard directors, James Gunn, has already confirmed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, Mick Fury and Mara Hill. Maria Hill. Uh, that was after. They're both she yeah. legends. Um, so who's left? Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Thor Black, Black Widow, Widow, Hulk, Hulk War, War Machine, Machine Rocket, Rocket, and, and Nebula. Nebula. The original, the, or, of the original Guardians crew, Rocket and Nebula survived. Perhaps the two will reunite in the next film. And then Oki and Mabraku, who I think are those those people. Mm -hmm. uh, people Wait, that go back up. Here's who went MIA in Avengers Infinity War. What does that mean? I don't know. MIA, Black Panther, tries to remove Infinity Stone from Vision. We don't head. see what happens to her. Oh, uh, we don't know what happened. So missing in action. That's what yeah. it is. Shuri. So that's the person that's trying to fix Vision. Pepper Potts. The last her. Oh, that's Tony's wife. Captain Marvel. Marvel. If you stayed for the post credit scene, you know that Nick Fury. Yeah. Hawkeye. Oh my God, Hawkeye. Just and Ant Man. Man. Gosh dang it. They just like never showed up. The Collector. Oh yeah, he was like stuck in a glass. Yeah. Thing. That was so funny. No, no, no. Because like you don't know what happened to the Collector, right? Because like he like disappeared. Oh yeah, because Thanos like. It was the Reality Stone messing yeah, with them. Yeah, messing with them. Oh my God, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah, what happened to Valkyrie? Where Where was Valkyrie? Like you know what I'm talking about, Valkyrie. You know who Valkyrie is, right? think so. She's like the girl Thor met on the planet in Thor Ragnarok and escaped with and she was on the ship. But it didn't oh, yeah. show her even on the ship. No. And she's a Valkyrie. She's like a crazy like super strong as Guardian warrior. It didn't even yeah. show her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 and it didn't even show uh, the Mick. Oh yeah, the rock dude. Mick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mick. Mick is dead. He like stepped on him or something and he died. <laughs> um... Wrong. Wong and Ned. Ned. Wong. Oh, Benedict Wong. Wong returns to the Sanctum. Yeah, he just returns to the Sanctum. Uh, Doctor and Strange Ned. is taking the Captain Children. We never see whether he lives or dies. We also never find out whether Ned, who created the distraction for Ned's friend. Yeah, and did Ned disappear either? Did Wong disappear? I don't know. Like, did, did all these, did any of these people disappear? Like, did Hawkeye disappear? Did Ant Man disappear? Well, see, that's what I think. Because. Hawkeye distinctively said in an interview, Hawkeye's doing his own thing in this movie. Yeah. So, I don't know if that means... There was a thing about how Hawkeye and Ant-Man were doing something together. Yeah, they mentioned that Hawkeye and Ant-Man were working together. So, does that set up Hawkeye and Ant-Man are going to come back in Avengers... Or, or in Avengers 4? Four, yeah. And I mean, we know Captain Marvel's there. We, yeah, because we know she's coming. Movie March 8th. And then, and then two months later... Avengers 4, May 3rd. And she's already supposed to be in... Well, like, she's pretty much 100% that she will be in. Oh, um, yes. Well, and then Thanos must be must not be dead because it did say Thanos will, will return. Yeah, it says so Thanos he's not will dead. return. He's not dead. Well, I mean, what's um, going to happen with his glove? Is he going to fix it? Did he know, kill that dwarf as well? What happened to the dwarf? Fix feel like, yeah, what happened to the dwarf? At the Iron Forge. Okay, why was the dwarf huge, dude? The dwarf was, like, bigger than the rest of them. <laughs> he was a dwarf. So yeah, that Iron Forge thing was weird. Mm -hmm. And then he, like, unleashed the power of the sun. Mm -hmm. But then somehow he didn't die. I didn't understand that. Well, it was like a star. The yeah. entire force of a star was on Thor. And, and Thor's like, die. if fate hasn't killed me yet, it won't kill me now. Or, or Okay, that was so funny with like that. Star-Lord trying to do, like... Thor's oh voice. my goodness. Was like, I am Thor. <laughs> and then Groot. Groot was just like there for the entire movie, but the only thing that he did was he made a hammer. For yeah, Thor's. he connected Thor's hammer. Yeah, or axe hammer thing. And then, Yeah, an uh, axe. He did, what else did he do? And then he did, oh, I can't remember now. Oh, and then he was like, oh, sure. He was like stabbing people in, uh, in the Wakanda battle. Yeah. 
that was like the one part where you like, hey, they're winning in the <laughs> Wakanda battle, and then it turned. Oh, out, they were destroying in the Wakanda battle. Yeah, but then they lost because they all disappeared. They lost because of Star Lord. Honestly, they would have had Thanos. They would have had him. But <laughs> Star, -Lord Star Lord's brash nature is just like, ugh, Chris Pratt, come on. Come on, Chris Pratt. Why you gotta do this to us? Uh, over here, punching out Thanos, ruining our plan. Yeah. Uh, but we did. Okay, so, yeah, we played some air hockey, and we played that really dumb game. I can't believe I wasted my tokens on that car <laughs> on race. On the racing game? Yeah, that was bad. <sighs> um, we, we were there, like, really early, and then we also got uh, yelled at by some kids, too. <sighs> Let's, not talk, Let's <laughs> not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Um, hey, you guys play Fortnite? Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, yeah, I let's not, let's Fortnite. not go. I don't play Fortnite because I'm not a dumbass. Um, I'm sorry if you do play Fortnite, but you just got insulted. You just got dissed. You just got roasted. Yeah, boom roasted, you know. Boom roasted. Boom roasted. Boom roasted, you know. Boom roasted. Okay, okay. <laughs> Boom roasted. Okay, so um, Blake, you want to go? Blake, Blake had some ideas of what other things to mm -hmm. talk about. So before we're getting we're getting close to the end here. We're getting close to the end. I honestly was thinking with seventy six named Marvel characters. Yes, in the movie. I was like, well, wait, who do you think is like your favorite character in this movie, or or who? If you can't pick a favorite, who do you think goes through the most development, and we learn more about them? And there's a, a, such a different, interesting side to them. I think there's so many different characters like that. Oh, yeah. I think my favorite character is definitely going to be Spider-Man. <laughs> or or Star-Lord. Either one of them. And I think a character that really develops in this movie is... Uh, hmm, hmm, the Hulk. Mm -hmm. More with the Hulk. Because there's that whole thing about how the Hulk is, like, not the Hulk, but then he is the Hulk. Like... The Hulk is like a separate personality now. Yeah. And he's like, Hulk, come on! And then the Hulk's like, no! <laughs> and he's like, Pah! you know? So, yeah. that That's what I'm going with. What, what about you, Blake? I mean, I may be a little biased, but I just love Doctor Strange's, like, character. And I love how Benedict Cumberbatch plays him. So I'd have to say my favorite character in that movie was Doctor Strange. Like, even just when he was in the fighting scenes, like, there's the one scene where he, like, like, taps on himself, and you see him, like, phase out of reality, and there's, like, four of him, and then, like, he splits oh, okay. up, and there's, that like, a million of them. Awesome. That scene was so cool. And then he gets the whip, and everyone whips Thanos, and, oh, Doctor Strange was such a big player in the Thanos fight yeah. there. Like, how... He's the one that strapped Thanos' arm down, and literally, when certain things were coming at them, Doctor Strange just dispelled them, or, like, countered back with, like, a reality-shifting thing to distract Thanos, and, oh, I really think Doctor Strange was, like, an important part in that movie, like, without Doctor Strange, and, and even the cape, even his cape, his like, cape, yeah, his cape just floated around. Oh, his cape was just, oh, <laughs> jokes. Yeah. And I think the character that developed the most, I don't know. I think it was really cool to see more of, like, Scarlet Witch and Vision. And, like, all of that. Like, Steve Rogers and, like, n like Black Widow. Like, how much they've changed. Like, how Steve Rogers, when he was, like, Captain America and with the press and with America, yeah. he's, like, betrayed them now. And Natasha yeah, is traveling yeah. around with them. And then Scarlet and Vision have, like, a, a love interest now. And like just yeah. how unexplored in Scotland apparently <laughs> too. How unexplored like Scarlet Witch's powers are. Like, yeah, they're like okay. why why is Scarlet Witch <laughs> this strong but she's so so insignificant? Yeah. Like she's not stressed to be super strong. Like she doesn't even do that much in the Thanos fight. Like she pops down and she like smashes like a ton of like of the weird monkey alien dudes with the massive okay, what, chainsaw yeah, blades. What the hell was the okay, monkey That was a little dudes. weird when they just had massive chainsaw blades and crazy monkey yeah, dudes that just kept on just coming like, and coming out of the and coming. Earth. And then someone's like, why don't we have her down here? Why did we have her up there? 
and then that's it. That's all she does in the Thanos fight. And yeah. it's kind of like, why? Why do you have this super overpowered character that does nothing? Yeah, but she almost kind of did give up the Vision Stone, though, because she left Vision mm -hmm. to come down. I mean, she did save. I can't remember who she saved. Steve Rogers, I think she saved Steve Rogers, but, like, she almost kind of did give up Vision Stone mm -hmm. in, a, in a very... Then again, she also almost got rid of Vision Stone, but Thanos was like, nah, 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 I got the, the time stone. Time. Yeah, in reverse time. Yep, uh, because he can do whatever the hell he wants. And he, like, ripped it out of Vision's head, and it was, like, circuiting. Yeah. There was, like, circuits inside of Vision's head. Yeah. What would you say was a favorite part of the movie? I don't know. Maybe you want to go first. That's a lot to process. The favorite part of the movie. I had so many favorite um, parts. I really, I enjoyed, I don't know, I really enjoyed the fight between, with Captain, no, not that, not the Wakanda fight. I really enjoyed the Star-Lord kind of Captain America with Doctor Strange. Like when Star-Lord for, first came on, the planet, I can't remember the planet's name, Titan. When Starler first came on Titan mm -hmm. and attacked, like, Dr. Uh, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. And because he thought that they, and he was like, who the hell are you? And then I also really enjoyed when they all fought uh, Thanos, too. Mm -hmm. that, that was a really good part of the movie. I think I'd have to choose from two different things. The one scene where Spider-Man, Dr. Strange, and Iron Man all work together when he first, Doctor Strange first gets kidnapped and, like, um, tortured by one of the bla the guy that has, like, telekinesis powers, a part of Thanos' Black Order, and how they all work together, and, like I said, how hype it was, like, Spider-Man in space, Spider-Man yeah. in space, and, like, like, they made it so, such a small point, but, like, how Spider-Man just out of nowhere, like, Tony Stark's like, Spider-Man, let go, I'll save ya. Yeah. And then he's just, like, wrapped in this completely new and improved cool suit. And he yeah. can, like, grow spider legs and, and that's stuff. Like the, and that's the suit from oh the end of Spider-Man. Oh my goodness, movie. it was so cool. That scene. And then, as I said, the Thanos fight with, like, the all of the Guardians. Well, half of the Guardians. And then Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, and Tony Stark. And just how cool and how combined and teamwork and all the stuff and like I just want to throw in something else like Mantis as well like it's kind of yeah, cool she, she how like much put, uh, you, like Mantis sleep. is doing like yeah she puts Thanos to sleep and like hypnotizes him and holds him there so like Tony Stark and, and Peter Parker or Tom Holland yeah. can rip off his glove I don't know why it was so hard to take off his glove <laughs> But then that's the other thing, like, I don't... Apparently Gamora says that she, like, loves Star-Lord, so I don't know if there's gonna be something going on with their, with their relationship. Because they've always kind of had, like, a semi-relationship, but it's never really been mm -hmm. shown before. So, uh, yeah, I think someone's definitely gonna happen there with their relationship mm -hmm. between each other. Uh, yeah. So overall, it's a great movie. Yes. Absolutely great movie. Uh, if you saw it, I'm sure you probably have the same opinions. I don't know what reason someone would not like that movie. Yeah. Uh, it was an amazing movie. Uh, my final words are going to be go see it. Mm -hmm. Watch it. It's so amazing. Uh, enjoy it. <laughs> and uh, make sure you keep the hype. Make sure Marvel delivers this next movie on time and good. Yes. And, uh... If it's any later than May 3rd, we will be... We will be very even if it's disappointed. Exactly. It can't be on Star Wars Day. <laughs> it can't be <laughs> on Star, Star Wars, Wars Day. Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then my other final words are just gonna be, uh, you know, don't get locked in a garage for eight days living off dog food and Pepsi, you know? Because then, when Thanos comes to take you, like... It's not gonna be good. That's no. not a, that's not how you wanna die. Yeah, you know. Eating dog food and Pepsi? Yeah. That's not how you wanna die. Thanos is gonna say Thanos. Boom. Thanos That should be like his Thanos and then he like punches people.
That would be so bad. Stand up. Like, I can just imagine from this other TV show, this really dumb character that before he fought, he did, like, dance moves. I can just imagine Thanos, like, Thanos. doing dance moves. Thanos! <laughs> and then he, like... <laughs> oh, that would I make mean, Thanos... I mean, fat Barney, so... <sighs> <laughs> Well, what are your last words, Blake, to the folks of Are You Smart? Spell it. I mean, there was no bad acting in that movie. Everyone no. is no. such a good actor in that movie. Like, everyone is just such a cool and famous actor. And, like, I like how none of the all the different actors don't, like, draw away, draw attention or focus away from the other ones. They all complement each other and... They're all a part of it. It's not yeah. like one's better than the other. They all work together and they're all intercombined. And they didn't, and they didn't try to have them all in one battle. They had them all carry out two separate battles for mm -hmm. the entire movie, which was really good. I so think. it wasn't too much. Yeah. <laughs> too much Avengers gives you Avengeritis. I mean, maybe that's why they killed off so many Avengers, so now they can, like, come back together, or, like, the original can come back together and figure out their problems. Like, Iron Man and Captain America still didn't even meet once through the entire movie. Yeah, they didn't. Iron Man other, got other Thor, or, or got Hulk to call him. Yeah. Well, he didn't really get Hulk to call him. He just Bruce Banner decided to he call just him. Got Iron Man got occupied with other things. And forgot well. One thing, if Iron Man has a super high-tech robot <laughs> suit, yeah, what is why does he have a flip phone? <laughs> <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> Shouldn't he have, like, an iPhone? Why does he have a flip phone? I'm so confused. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for listening or watching or whatever mm -hmm. you did. Are you smart? Spell it. For those of you who are listening, you can check out the video uh, component to this. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think we'll put in the actual, like, clips of us at the theater. Mm -hmm. Actually, we, we might. But, uh, if those, so for those of you who are watching, you can check out the video component to this. Um, at uh, YouTube, I don't know. We don't have a custom URL. We don't have no subscribers for that. But you can go check it out at uh, YouTube, and then just look up William Lake TV, and you'll make it to our page. Um, for those of you who saw the quick live stream before this video, thank you for watching. We just mm -hmm. did that, and uh, yeah, we hope you guys have a great weekend, and mm -hmm. we hope you see Avengers: Infinity War, mm -hmm. and enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching WBTV. If you guys want to see more gameplay videos, tune in on Wednesdays. If you want to see more talk show videos, tune in on Mondays. And if you guys want to see our podcast, which is the Friday news show, tune in on Fridays on our YouTube channel or go check it out on iTunes or SoundCloud. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.